what do we usually do when we hear something? It depends on what kind of sound we hear. Kapag may sumabog na bomba, ang unang gagawin natin, tumakbong palayo kung nasaan yung tunog na yon. Our instinct will dictate us to move away from that sound. We make sure that we are safe from that explosion, from that exploding sound. We make sure that we are at a safe distance to ensure ourselves that we will not get hurt or be affected by that explosion. If we hear people making noises, we move away from that noise, especially if it is something that is very distracting. We move away from those distracting sounds. If we hear a beautiful music, our tendency is to look where that sound or where that music is coming from. We look for its source. If it is a song that is performed by our favorite artists, we try to look where it is coming from. Baka may libreng pa-concert kapag nakita natin o nasundan natin kung saan nanggagaling yung tugtog na iyon. If we hear our name being called out, we look for that person calling or shouting out our name. Kapag tinawag tayo, lumilingon tayo. Kapag, tumi pag kapag, tinawag, kapag sinigaw yung pangalan natin, hinahanap natin sino kaya yung tumatawag sa atin. It all depends on what, ki on what kind of sound we hear. And whenever we hear that kind of sound, it would either make us move away from that sound or it is something that would draw us nearer or closer to that sound. In our gospel, we also hear a familiar sound, the voice of the shepherd. We may no longer be that familiar to the imagery that Jesus used in our gospel. Sa setup ko natin, wala naman ho tayong nakikitang nagpapastol. Hindi naman ho tayo nakakakita ng mga tupa o mga hayop na pinapastol dito sa syudad. But for those who have pets, the sound of our voices will always be familiar for our pets. For those who have pets, they would know what kind of sound their masters are saying or calling them. It, may, it would mean playtime or it would mean mealtime. Kapag tinatawag natin yung mga alaga nating hayop, pwedeng isipin ng mga alaga natin, makikipaglaro ba tayo o papakainin na natin sila. And whenever they would call their pets, or whenever we would call our pets, we, they would also be familiar to the voice of their masters. They are secure that they will be safe because they know that it is their master who is calling them. But nowadays, we hear a lot of sounds. We hear a lot of voices. And the voice of the shepherd can also drown in the noises that we hear. Alam ho natin yung pakiramdam na kapag may tinatawag tayo, sigaw tayo ng sigaw, tawag tayo ng tawag dun sa pangalan ng tinatawag natin, pero hindi tayo nililingon. Kasi nalulunod yung sigaw natin dun sa ingay ng mga nasa paligid natin. And when the voice of our good shepherd would drown in the noises of the world, we could end up being lost. We could end up in the wrong hands of those who pretend to be shepherds. We could end up not in the hands of the good shepherd, but in the hands of the enemy. But how can we hear the voice of the good shepherd amidst the noises that we hear. There is only one standard that we should follow. If we are looking for the voice of, if, if we are looking for the voice of the good shepherd, then its, then its voice will only be good. Kung ang maingay ay nilalayuan natin, 
kung yung tinatakbo yung kung yung nakakatakot ay tinatakbuhan natin ang tanging pamantayan lang nung tinig ng mabuting pastol ay kabutihan the voice of the good shepherd will always be good the voice of the good shepherd will only offer us what is good and the only thing that we can see from the good shepherd is goodness and goodness is something that will attract us. Kapag yung tinig na narinig natin ay puro ingay, kapag yung boses na narinig natin ay puro paninira, kapag yung boses na narinig natin ay puro kabastusan at kawalang hiyaan, makatitiyak tayo, hindi yun yung boses ng mabuting pastol. Goodness is not, just measure, is not just measured in a single output. Goodness is not, just measure, is not just measured in a single data. Kapag may isang bagay na ginawa na sa ating kabutihan, hindi, na natin, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na yun na yung pamantayan ng kabutihan. Goodness is not just measured in a single act. Goodness is an attribute of God. And if goodness is an attribute of God, then it only means goodness means everything. Hindi isang bagay lang ang magbibigay ng larawan ng kabutihan. Ang kabutihan ay isang bagay na magiging magpa o magpapabuo ng ating sarili. Magiging larawan ng ating pagkatao kapag pinakikinggan natin ang mabuting pastol. If goodness no longer attracts us, then whose voice are we following? Kung hindi na natin kayang hanapin yung kabutihan sa mga nakikita at narinig natin, baka mamaya kasakiman na yung sinusundan natin. Maaring magaganda at nakakaakit yung mga narinig natin. Pero sana, mas hanapin natin yung kabutihan na pinapakita ng tunay na mabuting pastor. Please.